Uh, Batwoman was canceled last week. I, and this kind of fell between the cracks for me. I had some other stuff I had to take care of. Anyway, Batwoman canceled after three seasons. This is from TVLine.com. It's a wrap on Batwoman. The Arrowverse series has been canceled after three seasons. Showrunner Carolyn Dries announced the news on Friday, right? And just got the sad news that Batwoman will not be seen in season four on Bum, but full of gratitude. What an honor to make 51 episodes of something inspiring. Brilliant people contributed to this series. Thank you, producers, cast, crew. Thank you, fans. We love you. Bless them. Anyway. Batwoman this season was averaging about 760,000 total viewers in a 0.2 demo rating with live plus 7 DVR playback factor. Down nearly 20% in audience from a sophomore run and ranking number 13 in that measure out of the 19 dramas the CW's aired this season. It's also reported the 13th largest DVR bump of the CW one. So it's basically 13 out of 19 for the CW. That's not great. You know, um, I, I think there's a lot of things that factor into the renewal of shows, like how much does it cost. Generally, the longer a show continues, it uh, it, it costs more because you got to bring more people, you know, because you got to bring people back and so on and such forth, and it starts to cost more. But then there's, there's also the production budgets, how you know, special effects, all that kind of stuff. So the pin, you know, so that's why there are some shows that like they'll get a million viewers and they. They won't be canceled, but then you'll see this other show with 2 million viewers that will be. Because it costs a lot more, or whatever. It, it just depends. Anyway, then it goes on and talks about what happened in Season 3. I, I stopped watching in, uh, partway through Season 3. I just couldn't watch anymore. It was, I, I didn't watch any Season 3. Just, ugh. I just couldn't take it. It just wasn't a good show. Regardless of the whole, you know, their, their obsession with racism and all that kind of stuff. It's, everything was racist, everything was sex, all that kind of shit. It was, even if you, you just set that aside, this wasn't a, a, a well-written show. The stories didn't make any sense. The characters routinely did things that they shouldn't have done or that they, they would contradict themselves in the next scene or things like that. It, just, it was not good. It just wasn't good. Anyway, and it says, while the season ender hinted at new stories to come, Dries noted it also served as a potential series finale. I think you can tell by how the stories came to a satisfying conclusion that if this were the end, it feels like we've answered enough questions and then also created one big question. That was important to me because the show and each of these individual characters are so important to me that I wanted to give them their due finale moment. Um, so it sounds to me like she didn't know that, that, that when they were planning this and stuff, that they kind of were like, well, maybe. They, they were kind of seeing the, the uh, writing on the wall, so to speak, but that they didn't know for sure, which... I, you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. I think the CW should have come to him and been like, basically be like, hey, look, this is going to be your last season as they're making it so that they can have a more satisfying conclusion. I don't know, like, if you watch the show, let me know, were you satisfied with the conclusion? Because basically he says that uh, the the main character, Ryan, seemingly cured her brother of his Joker personality with help from Alice. Yeah, that's one of the other problems I had with the show. They prevented many from dying in the explosion and all this kind of stuff with the acid bombs and shit. Some character did uh, murder some journalist there before limping away. So, and, you know, in, in the showrunner, Kellen Drives, previously opened up about her plans for season four. So, you know, I mean, it's they kind of saw the writing on the wall, but they also had plans to continue. And me personally, I think the CW should just basically come right out and told them. Or, plus also, I mean, at least they were cognizant enough to realize that, you know, the ratings aren't very good. It's not a lot of buzz around the show. So we're probably going to get canceled. We better wrap this up. That's probably a good thing. You know, uh, three seasons. I, I, You know, it's hard to say. So this might be tied to the whole Discovery merger and stuff. Because I'm not sure how much money this show was really losing. So was, I don't know how much it cost to make or whatever. But... You know, it just wasn't, it was underperforming. Basically, they also canceled Legends of Tomorrow. But that show had been on for several more seasons. So, you know. Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.